A very good day to you and welcome to the farm. <laughs> welcome to family time. I want to speak to you today about action speaks louder than words. Folks, if we go to the book of Micah, it's one of the minor prophets in the Old Testament, Micah chapter 6 verse 8, the Lord tells us to do three things. Number one, to do justly. Number two, to love mercy. And number three, to walk humbly with your God. You know, folks, I think a lot of people are kept out of the kingdom of God because of us believers. You know, we talk, but there's no action following. People are struggling, but we're not there to help them. And we've got to ask forgiveness for that. And all of us is, are guilty, me, especially me. I want to give you a little practical example of action speaking louder than words. It happened five minutes ago. These cattle behind us, we wanted them to be a backdrop for you. They wouldn't stand here. <laughs> so they all moved off. And the camera crew didn't know what to do. So we went back to the shed and we got a couple of bags of lovely, sweet cattle feed. And we poured it in these troughs, and here they are. <laughs> Action speaks louder than words. Don't tell people that you love them. Show them that you love them. You know, you can go in, and well, I can go, let's use me rather, go in and preach a fiery testimony, calling people to repentance, go out to get into my motor car, and there's a poor man there who says, Sir, I've been watching over your car. And I've got nothing to eat. And I can say to him, look, go and get a job, man. Don't be so lazy. And he says, I can't get a job, sir. That's why I'm looking after your motor car. And I drive off in righteous anger. And the Lord says, what have you just been preaching? If you're going to give a car guard a tip, don't give him 20 cents. He can't even buy a box of matches these days for 20 cents. Give him at least... 10 rand, if not more. Folks, the Lord talks about when we give to the poor, we lend to God. We've got to start to put our action into practice. The Lord speaks to us clearly in Luke chapter 10 and verse from verse 33 about the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan was not a Jew. He was a Samaritan. He was an Arab. He was an untouchable according to the Jews. And if you look at what's happening in the Middle East, even to this day, it's so tragic. There's, there's, no, there's no cohesion between Arab and Jew as hard as they are trying. But Jesus said 2,000 years ago, he said, I want to talk, tell you a story. And the story was pointed at a lawyer who said, I kept all the laws in the Bible. And the Lord says, but you must uh, do unto your neighbor as you do unto yourself. Who's my neighbor, you see? He said, I'll tell you a story. And he said, there was this uh, Jewish traveler who got uh, waylaid and uh, attacked by some gangsters. They left him half dead and uh, they ran away with the money. And a priest like me, a preacher, Walked past them on the other side of the road. He didn't want to get involved. A Levite, man of the word, knew the word of my heart. He walked on the other side. Then a Samaritan, a man from a different religion, a different color, a different ethnic group. He saw him, picked him up, put him on his horse, took him to a hotel, booked him into the hotel, looked after him, stayed with him for the whole night. The next day, gave the hotel owner some money said, when I come past, if there's any more money, I'll pay again. And he left on his way. Folks, I want to say to you, Jesus says, not all who cry, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But those who do what my Father says. God bless you until next time. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.